Hi, it's Daniel again from WPSocial.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to lock um, any content or parts of your content you wish for your site. Um, first, as you may have seen in the video before, I locked here the Hello World post from within the, the content locker settings and right now I'm going to check if that really works yes and as you can see here the hello world post is locked so I'm going to undo that again and check done and save changes <coughs> and now you can see the content again so I'm going to create a new post a test it's just a test I have some dummy text here which I want to use and now for locking content or just part of your content you have several choices or two different choices sorry okay the first let's say we have here an intro and then I want to have uh, so I have a download link here <coughs> and I'm going to lock that one for that I'm going to highlight the part I want to lock and then just click on the content locker icon here within the WordPress editor and then you can see it will aut automatically insert the short code which means it will lock the part between the short code I'm also going to use that as a link then publish view post and as you can see we have the download link just locked and these are the default settings I can have another color here I'm just going to use I don't know the brown and then this is a custom text update reload and it did change the color plus it did also change the text here if you don't want to have a, a box around just click on none choose none and then <coughs> it will look like that okay and if you want to, to lock all of the content <coughs> excuse me then you can scroll down to the meta box and just check the box here Facebook content locker if you check that one the complete post will be locked and then this time we're going to Solomon update view post and as you can see we have the content locked and we have a another color right now so now when the user sees that he will click on Facebook connect the pop-up will open he needs to log into Facebook then that's the name of the application I created for that site here are the information which we will receive from the application login with Facebook and now I'm going to show you how it looks like if I don't give all the permissions then I should be redirected to Google as you may have seen before in the, vid in the video before which I where I entered Google I will show you again here in the redirect URL 
I enter Google. So this time I should be redirected to Google if I don't give uh, all the permissions. Okay, I'm going to don't allow that one and I don't allow that one. And then skip. And now, as you can see, I have been redirected to Google because I didn't give all the needed permissions. I'm going to prepare. <coughs> if you want to test that yourself, you can do it like that. Then you just go back facebook.com. And then if you want to test it again, you need to go to your account settings, apps, and as you can see here, WP Social Developer, I need to delete that one. <coughs> then I need to go back to all users and you see, uh, it I didn't it didn't create the user. So what I need to check, which is really important, that you don't use the same email address, which with uh, the same email address as you have sa as you saved in your Facebook account. So I'm going to update that. Okay, and now I have another email address. Then, also important, log out, and then we go back to the FB member lock, which is, will be locked again. So now I'm going to show you how it looks like when the user does connect. Then Facebook will ask again about all the different permissions. This time I'm going to allow it and then sometimes it takes it's depending on the speed of your server and after I have connected with the site I get all the content unlocked. The user has a has its profile can edit his profile if he likes to and as you can see the email address has been entered from has been taken from face from his Facebook account and also on the website URL there will be the Facebook URL of his profile as you can see and it just posted the message I entered within the plugin settings right now if other people see that all my friends see that then they can click on the link and they will go back to the site or you can have the link to the locked content okay in the next video I'm going to show you how it looks like within the settings page um, when some users have connected to your site